everyone! Today we're going to be making some paint or some colour bags. So all you need for this is a bag, a Ziploc bag that you can seal at the top and some paints and that's it. So to do this I'm just going to open my bag out and I'm going to squeeze some paint into it. Now my bags are a bit big really so ideally you would have smaller bags but you know we've only got what we've got. I'm going to put some, some yellow and some pink in there and then I'm going to just squeeze all the air out of it and seal it up like so. And then I'm going to do another one. I have actually found a much smaller bag. So I'm going to open this one up. And here I've got green. I'll squeeze some green in. Okay. Quite a bit of paint in with this. Green. And I have got some purple, some purple. And I'm going to put my purple in as well. Okay, and then I'm going to seal that one as well. Make sure we get as much of the air out as you possibly can. And that is it. That is all you need to do to make them. Then of course it's the play. So to play, get your children, one, it's just fantastic sensory experience. They love the feel of it. You can watch them as they mix the colours together. What colour does it make? So we've got all the art in there. Um, using your fingers, so great for those fine motor skills. Practicing um, uh, letter formation, you could try and make some A, make some K. If you wanted, you could get some paint brushes and have a go, so it's non-messy art, it's brilliant, perfect if we're in the house. You can have a go at painting different things. Uh, if you don't have paint brushes, just get anything, anything with a bit of an end. Pencils would work, obviously be careful you don't puncture the bag, or cotton buds. So a whole range of different things that you can use for your children to make marks with, just have a fun sensory time as well. Enjoy.